Today, we'll be showing you how to fix corrupted data on your PS4. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. Corrupted data on your PS4 sounds like a scary issue, largely because Sony's console is a closed system that doesn't really lend itself to tinkering, fixes, and general messing around with under the hood stuff. Luckily, there are quite a few things you can do when things start going wrong with your PS4, thanks to a little known recovery screen that lets you implement all kinds of fixes for common issues. We'll show you how to fix the corrupted data issue and get things back working in full order. The corrupted data error you're most likely to encounter will likely be labeled CE348757 or NP320623. This refers to the data of a specific game being corrupted, not some kind of crucial data on the PS4 itself. The problem can manifest itself during the installation of a game. When it stalls, the error message appears, and you're left with a half-installed game that you can't play. Alternatively, the error can appear while you're playing a game that you've already installed. The audio may start to glitch, the frame rate drops, then the game crashes and you see the same message. The other and worst type of data corruption can involve your entire hard drive, which will result in your PS4 failing to boot properly and possibly going into safe mode. If that's the case, then our first fixes will help you. Check the link for info on how to fix corrupted game data. If your PS4 is failing to boot properly, then chances are that some system data on your hard drive has become corrupted. The first thing you should try is opening up your PS4 and checking to see if the hard drive is still firmly secured into its bay. If it's become dislodged, then that could be causing the corruption. If that fails and your corruption doesn't just relate to the data of a specific game, you may have to think about reformatting your PS4 hard drive, then reinstalling the PS4 OS fresh. Note that you'll lose all your data this way. If, however, you just have a corrupted data icon for an individual game, then listen on. One of the simpler things you can try to fix the corrupted data error on a PS4 is to restore the licenses on all the games associated with your account. There's a chance that at some point your game licenses might have gone out of sync with your account, which could be the cause of the corrupted data problem. To restore licenses for your PS games, go to Settings, Account Management, Restore Licenses. There are a couple of ways to fix this. The simplest option if it happens during installation is to delete the corrupted data file, give the disk a wipe and try again. To do this, go to Notifications on the PS4 home screen, press Options and select Downloads. Next, highlight the corrupted data, press Options and delete the data. Finally, give the game disk a wipe, making sure it's clean and smudge free, and try reinstalling the game. If the problem reappears or your PS4 isn't allowing you to delete the corrupted file, then you'll need to try another solution. Rebuilding your PS4 database scans your PS4 system for any files that may be buggy or not working as they should. It shouldn't delete any data and can fix corrupted data. To rebuild your PS4 database, make sure your PS4 is off, then hold the power button until you hear two beeps, one upon pressing the button, another several seconds later. This should boot your PS4 into safe mode. Plug your PS4 controller into your PS4 via a USB cable. Bluetooth doesn't work on this screen. And select the Rebuild Database option. After a few minutes, your PS4 database should be rebuilt and hopefully your corrupted data will now be gone. Those are the most convenient ways to fix corrupted data on your PS4. If you're still having problems though, you may need to consider that the game disc is being damaged and will need replacing. Alternatively, you could try the initialize PS4 option from the safe mode screen, which deletes all data from your system and restores it to its default settings. It's not a pretty solution, but it may be necessary as an absolute last resort. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.